In this series of videos looking at the mark of the beast, so far we've looked at a number of things. We've looked at um, the specific will of the Father as expressed in his word and that real faith is basically choosing to obey his will as it is expressed in his word. Not to be saved because we can't work out our own salvation. All we can do is choose to do the will of the Father and that basically is his real faith. We've looked at the, the rise of a false religious system and how that false religious system has been perpetuated um, throughout the ages. We looked at Daniel chapter 7 in the last video and the rise and fall of certain empires that have basically um, kept this false religious system alive. We looked at Babylon, Medo-Persia, Greece and the rise of Rome. Um, in this video I'd like to look at the demise of, of, of pagan Rome. Um, in Daniel chapter 7 we um, read about the fourth beast, a great and terrible beast. We read that this particular beast has ten horns and in this video we're going to have a brief look at what the ten horns or who the ten horns represent. Horns represent kings or kingdoms and there's evidence of that in Revelation chapter 17. You'll see the, the verse appearing on screen right now. So who are these ten horns or ten kingdoms? We know that Rome came into prominence on a worldwide scale. In around 168 BC they, they conquered the Greeks in a decisive battle. And Rome held sway in the western world, the then known world, from 168 Around 351, barbarian tribes began to invade from the north, attacking, attacking Rome. And between the years 351 and 476, the Roman Empire began to fall. The last emperor, Romulus Augustulus, was dethroned in around 476. AD. What happened then was a dividing of the kingdom. Rome didn't so much fall, it more or less divided and the ten horns represent the ten kingdoms into which the Roman Empire was divided. And the ten kingdoms were as follows and I'll put the names on screen. The Ostrogoths, the Visigoths, the Franks, the Vandals, the Suevi, the Alamanni, I hope I'm pronouncing them correctly, the Anglo-Saxons, Heruli, Lombardi and Burgundians. Those are the ten kingdoms into which the Roman Empire was divided in 476 AD. Daniel goes on to tell us that three of the horns, three of these kingdoms were plucked, leaving seven. Scholars agree that the kingdoms of France, England, Germany, Switzerland, Italy, Portugal and Spain are the remnants of the ten kingdoms. Three of them are gone. The three that are gone are the Heruli, the Vandals and the Ostrogoths. The Heruli disappeared in 493, the Vandals fell in 534 and the Ostrogoths received a crushing blow in 538. Why were these three horns plucked? Remember the kingdoms described in Daniel chapter 7 are those responsible for perpetuating a false religious system and the three horns that were plucked, the three kingdoms that were removed were against or had something in their belief systems that was contrary to the false religious system. Now by the year 476 the rising of the little horn described in Daniel chapter 7 
had begun the little horn or the power represented by the little horn in Daniel chapter 7 had almost reached the height of its powers and in the next video we'll look at the little horn and why the little horn decided to pluck these three kingdoms and basically take them out of existence the Aruli, Vandals and Ostrogoths I hope that what I've said has been clear any questions please ask them in the comments section below and pray for me as I as I pray for you